and an emotional meeting between a heartbroken family and a teenager who tried to save their loved one. Meet somebody as great as you are. The action this 17-year-old took to try to save an 80-year-old man. Live, this is Fox 30 Action News Jax at 10. Local coverage you can count on. That teenager rushed to the elderly man's side after he was hit while crossing the street. I was being used to be able to give him that peace. And uh, I'm just glad I was able to help him. 80-year-old Clarence Gibbs was hit trying to cross Monument Road near 295 yesterday. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. The 17-year-old stopped and tried to save his life, but it was too late. Action News Jack's Russell Colburn is live there in Regency. And Russell, the victim's family says they are so thankful for that young man. Yeah, they live nearby and say Gibbs would routinely walk around here, specifically to the Walmart just across the way. And they believe he was coming back from there when he was hit here on Monument Road. In fact, you can still see police tape out here near the median. Tonight, we're hearing from his family and the teenager who tried to save him. Loved ones of Clarence Gibbs, who went by Dennis, say the Army veteran was a kind, loving family man who loved to walk all over town. His sister, Alice Kemp, knew he was the victim killed on Monument Road Monday, even before she was told. It was Uncle Dennis. I said, well, I knew that. Just knew it in your heart? Yeah. Yeah. They also knew a teenager stopped and did CPR on the 80-year-old as he lay in the road, helpless. Tonight, Action News Jax brought them together. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm really nice to meet you. Me too. I'm sorry about everything. 17 year old Garrett Curley couldn't save Gibbs, but he could give this family answers they needed. But I appreciate you trying. Yes, ma'am. I, I tried as hard as I could. I know you did. The Bishop Kenny High School student says he didn't think twice about stopping. It's another life. It's, an, it's somebody with stories, you know, somebody who's lived a life. and. I'd like to help him. He gave him his moments that he needed before he could pass on to um, a much better place. Leaving behind a forever grateful family. To know that he had somebody there with him and that he wasn't alone. That's just something you can't, can't buy with money or anything else. JSO said the driver remained here on scene and there didn't seem to be any sign of impairment. Coming up all new at 11, the one thing Curly was able, Curly was able to tell this family that gave them the most closure and peace. Live in Regency, Russell Colburn, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.